hi friends what's this kinter window in this window there are two calendars are there so i can pick up one date it let it be the start date so i'll just go change the year go on back picked up one date from here and in the from the second calendar it is the end date or from two date you can say it's a two date so let me go to browse to any other uh, month and then even change the year also and then pick up a day here now on click of this button it shows me the difference in these two selected days so what is the difference and how many days are there we'll learn how to develop this we'll start from here this is a blank template only we are creating using our kinter so here we are importing and in the second line we are importing date entry if this tk calendar is not installed then you just install it by using pip install tk calendar because this is what will display the calendar and we are able to select a date from the calendar so the user can easily uh, pick up a date so below that the size of our window so this is the width and height and in this we'll add our components before that first i am just declaring a higher size font because for the display purpose we'll be using it this is the list where first the family you if you want a different font family you can use it size i am just giving a higher size and style so this is the normal you can use bold italic or underline whatever you want so this is the i have just declared a list here now let me just start a list sorry l1 my list uh, sorry this is the label i will display tk label so this label the output will be displayed what is the num difference in dates my underscore w is my parent window uh, above line number three we have declared it that we are using many places it's declared as root also so what should be the default text i am just giving data you can say uh, difference will be displayed here or whatever you want to this is the default one and this will be replaced with the our final output so data is given here now uh, slightly I am giving a different background so it will be prominently visible I am giving yellow you can give whatever data you want to and here I am saying use the font I have declared I have font equal to font 1 so that's all my label is defined I have to place it on a grid so grid row equal to 0 is the first one at the top so column equal to 0 also and I am not flushing with the left else left edge so pad x equal to let me give 10 and pad y from the top I am maintaining some gap so 20 and here I am giving column span why because it will I want to expand it because two calendars one on bottom will be there so let me just give the column span of 3 and sticky stick it should stick to our east and west so it should stretch itself to cover whatever left and right the space is available so that is the idea so now la label is uh, labels the output is uh, defined or the display part is here now let's go ahead with place our calendars calendar equal to date entry now whatever it is there now my underscore w is my parent window select more uh, select mode equal to now it's a day so date entry we have given now this is fine now let's place this one on the grid so loud then cal one dot sorry here grid now which row it should be now below the label so it should be the row one so it's the top uh, first component in the left side so row one uh, sorry row one column equal to zero so low equal to one and column equal to so column should be 0 because it's the leftmost item and pad x slightly not flushing to the left edge pad x pad y equal to 30 so that's my first calendar now let me just copy this I'll just change the names and use for the second calendar now here it is calendar 2 now everything same here cal Two. and this same row and column is right of it so I'll give here I will delete this and put one so my column is right of it and pad X pad Y let it be now there will be a how I will trigger the event when it will calculate so I'll place a button and there I will write a command that on click of this button do this a function I will execute so for that b1 is my button tk dot button now my parent window is my underscore W now text what should be the font over the bottom 
you can write anything difference in days i have just writing it because on click of this button this is going to happen so bg background color i am giving slightly light green so it's prominently available now i will just go to next line here font slightly bigger font i am giving 20 and then i am giving command so command what will happen when this button is clicked so command equal to lambda now what it will do is it will call a function my update but where is my function well, this function i have not written so far so this will once i click this this function it will call but let me place it on the grid then i will write the function so i'll say b1 dot grid now where it should be the grid is it is in the second row so row equal to one because we started with row equal to zero that label so calendars are placed on row one it is right of the our second calendar so row equal to one and column equal to three column equal to three because uh, sorry column is here it should be column and we are pressing it at column two because zero is the first calendar one is the right of it second calendar and so it is right of the second calendar so column is equal to two for this now that is fine but where is my function i will just write it the function here below that so this is i will define it define my update now let me just complete my layout first so i have just not written what will happen the code i have not written but let me just check once i have saved it how is my layout it will not show me anything yeah so you can see here i am able to select a calendar i can change move to the previous months also pick up anything now i can pick up move the year also anything and this there and i can click this button and this data should replace once i write the code in my function we'll write the code inside our function so we can on click of the button this will uh, this code will be executed now i'm just creating a variable different in days equal to now what it should be now here i am giving inside a bracket cal2 cal2 is my second calendar i am accessing that gate date now gate date will return me whatever the user selected that date but this is a data and time date instant it is not a string if i want to make a string okay i can use strf time to get the string but here it's a directly it gives me a date object so i can do the calculation over that minus similarly cal1 dot get date so i will get the second date here so difference is available to me now this from this difference because it's a date object so i'll say days now i will get that straight away give me the number of days i have now this will hold the the variable will hold that value of in number of days so here i will just write in days so we got the days now now the next thing is i just if you want it to display it in the console you can just print diff days you can write it or if it is not required fine and now our point is we will display it in our label whatever at the top yellow background we have created there it's this uh, value should go so l1 now config i uh, you can do write config or configure also any of the option value i can manage using this config so here i am just trying to manage the text output or the text written over that see by default what you have written is you will just scroll up here here you can see the text we have written is data so this is by default it, it will show up once this function is uh, uh, create, triggered or this button is clicked this code is triggered now i will say text equal to now what i i want to, i will simply want to route difference in days this variable different in days that's all but what is the issue here is because this is a number so i i want to display so what i will do i will convert it into a string so once i am converted to the because days i had to display string there so i am doing that then plus i will just write some text also plus uh, this is just text part days so this will also add it to it this difference are say 20 30 20 days 30 days 40 days whatever it is that's all my code is over let me just run it and see what it shows any mistake is there or not i think previous window i have not closed the previous window so let's see uh, here it is now let me select one date I, i'll move month also now let me go back 
then change the year part also i am picking up one date now here also second calendar i will just change the month and go for this and difference in days so this is the difference in days it displays there so that's all friends so similarly we have already discussed many applications using this uh, picking up the calendar and on this days also and some more applications are also we are going to de develop so this is a simple one you can download the entire source code and i request you please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you'll be notified as and when we add new new tutorials we frequently do that also please share this with your friends and thank you for watching